Hi hi, it's Verico55 here, back again with the third episode of Clan Gen. We are here with Stock Clan. Look at them beautiful in their nice little firefly lit forest. So basically in the last episode we collected a lot of herbs. Uh, Monkey Hair got bi bitten, I think, I can't remember who, why he got bitten. And he got a stomach ache as well, actually I think we can see it here. Monkey hair got a stomach ache. Fought a dog. Yes, that's why he got bit. Because he got bit by a dog. Oh, monkey hair is getting into a lot of trouble. He is fierce, by the way. So, let's go on to the next moon. Grandpa accidentally trespassed on the moon in our clan's territory. Grandpa! Hairstock ate tainted fresh kill and lost a life. Oh, no. Oh, Drake Paw grooms their pelt happily to find tears and wounds in it gone. Monkey hair is glad that their stomach ache is finally gone. Look at that. Lovely. So at least now he's got that. Feel feverish around the area where the wounds... Oh, it's infected! Oh. oh. Wait, the persistent dry heat managed to cause a small fire in the herb? No, no, the herbs are little more than ashes now. We have no herbs and monkey hair is infected. Oh, God. No, 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 no. We don't... Oh, God, we can't lose monkey hair. He's our, like... He's the, one of the coolest ones around. Oh no! What are we gonna do? Oh, Drake Possum, very close to becoming a warrior as well. So, oh no! Hootstar has a sore paw from a bee sting. That's the least of our worries. You lost a life, and we have no herbs. Oh no! Sure, what the rest of the clan thinks of them as deputy Beige. Oh, she's worried. No, wait, he's worried. I, I don't mind. I assume she was. He was female. Uh, very smart, uh, Crowbot is feeling unappreciated. Oh, you can't feel unappreciated, okay? We need you more than anything. Oh, no. Who wants to have kids? Oh, he's in love with someone and he wants to have kids. He doesn't like monkey hair all that much. He actually hates him more than he likes him. But monkey hair likes him. Oh, no. Oh, no. He likes Dandelion Leap the most out of everyone except Gravel Paw for some reason. Wait, he also likes Drake Paw. Wait, what? He likes the apprentices. Maybe he that's why he likes kids or something. He likes he just like young cats. Like maybe he's a really good mentor or something. Uh tears up fresh kill far too violent for others liking. Monkey hair. Oh maybe because he's in pain, because he's got an affection and his bite wound is Conducting a rather vigorous training session for younger warriors. She's a very young warrior, I would say, as well. Wants to earn their warrior name. You are going to earn your warrior name very soon. Wants to spend time alone today, Horsepaw. Is wondering if they would be gone sooner. Is looking forward to today. Oh, so we're going to need a very big patrol, I think, of... I know Horsepaw wants to be alone, but I think we're going to need like as many cats as we can get. We might not do a hunting patrol today, just patrol the borders because we are kind of bad on the oh, herb gathering. Okay, green leaf is truly the best time of year to for a medicine cat. With the world so full of flowers and green growth, uh, mallow for their stores and patrols uh, to assist them. Okay, soft rolls like sent to mallow, uh, drift to the crozies. They work snipping off clumps of the large fuzzy green nubby leaves and the occasional pink flower to take back to camp. The patrol chats as they work, exchanging gossip and news, the smell of the, of the cut stems grows around them. Is mallow good for the infections? I don't know. I can't remember. Those are our old herbs, and we couldn't find any this moon. Oh no. I think we're gonna add all the cats to a border patrol. A gang of rogue bursts from the bushes, an ambush. Taken by surprise, the patrol scatters and loses cohesion. The rogues are quick to take advantage of the confusion. Eventually, patrol retreats. Gravelpaw, badly wounded. A torn pelt. Oh, we're having terrible luck these first few moons. Look at this. Only four mallow, a torn pelt, and an infected bite wound from a dog. Oh, we're doing very bad. Oh, it's so sad. We're gonna have to we're gonna have to do a lot of big herb patrols, kinda, to collect lots of herbs, to kinda reach stock our stores. Stockland welcomes Drakefoot as their new warrior honoring their bravery. A kitty pet called Hiccup stops Blossom Temple and asks to join the clan. 
The Quitty Pet decides to take on the slight, even more clan like name is now Hiccup Pelt. Uh, oh, Monkey Hair's affection is gone, and so is Grandma Paw's uh, Pelt. Oh, that's so good. We we have a new member, our our infections are gone and stuff, it's all good. Who started quickly apologize? Bumping into monkey hair. They have a small laugh about it. Oh, that's nice. What? Then the light pelt has noticed hiccup pelt isn't doing a lot of work lately. Oh maybe he's a lazy cat. What do we have? Oh we got cobwebs finally, so that will stop bleeding and stuff. Maybe that will get rid of the bite wound. And uh, next moon, who knows? Tansy oak leaf mellow. Uh, being so torn, infection is gone. Yes, great job, Crowbite. You are a great medicine cat. Look at that. Only one cat in the medicine den. I think uh, monkey hair will be good in the next moon. Okay, let's check out Hootstar. Almost lost a life recently. I was worried about others judging them. BJ seems very uh, self-conscious lately. And uh, Blossom Dapple was thinking about becoming deputy. Made a mess of the herbs and then is panicking. Oh no, maybe he's panicking because uh, uh, the last time his herbs got destroyed, so now we had to restock him. So now look at this. He's panicking. Lies through their teeth. Blossom Dapple seems very suspicious, guys. Oh. But he does also want kits, so he has a softer side to him. Oh, he's a very complex cat. Hiccup Pelt. Oh, he's very cute. Look at him. He's like a little shadow. He's very smart and he's got average experience and he's got a rainbow collar. Ooh, that's very cute. He's looking around camp with wonder. Ooh, who's he got a good relationship with? No one yet. Uh, history. Hiccup Pelt used to live on something called a boat with two legs but decided to join the clan. He doesn't have a mentor. Okay, Monkey Pelt is feeling unappreciated. Oh, Poor baby. Maybe it's because he's stuck in the medicine den with the bite wound. He will not allow themselves the rest. Oh, dandelion pelts of workaholic, I would say. Yeesh. She's strict as well. Um, drink for- look at how cool they came out. Oh, they're so fluffy and cool looking. I was wondering if they would be a good swimmer. I don't think so, because your pelt's all thick and fluffy. I don't think unless they eat a lot of fish or something like river clan. Horsepaw wants to spend her time alone today. Horsepaw seems kind of uh, like a loner. You know? That, that's the second day in a row they're like that. Gravelpaw is relaxing in camp. It's daydreaming. That's very cool. Who's our oldest cat other than Bouldertail? Ooh, it's Blossom Dapple, and he's actually uh, only 69 moons old. So uh, we've got a very young clan, I would say. Especially Hootstar. Wait, is it... who is our... oh yeah, that's our very young, like, for our main three. Okay, I still think we need someone to go with Crowbite on their patrol today. Maybe we should bring a Hiccup Pelt. Because maybe he could show on the territory or something. Crowbite has to attend one of their Grimmer drops. Oh, this is the, uh... Rosemary one, isn't it? Even though there's nothing different about this place. Yes, it is Rosemary. We saw this one before. So let's see who... Fantastic Hunter. Okay. I think I'm just going to use this 3 button to kind of get who we want to take on patrol. Uh, we will take uh, you off the patrol. We'll put you on a different patrol, I think. Yeah, we might put you on the border patrol, but we'll put Drakefoot with the... Fantastic hunters. This is our hunting patrol. Let's go. Your patrol catches the scent of fox. What is it? Red, grey? Tracking it, they find the red enemy feeding on a deer fawn carcass. It's possible to say whether fox killed it or found it. I think we need to proceed because we can't have this fox on our territory. Your cats are small but heavily outnumber the fox. It's prize and its prize. They're willing to fight for. With no prayers to start on they with a prayer to Starkland, they throw themselves into battle on the fox. Already half full of venison and willing to lose blood over is drifting off from the kill. I would say that's driving the fox off the territory completely, because we can't have a fox on our territory. Okay. Border patrol time. The patrol is checking the border lines and they hear the unst make a stall sound of a clan traping through clan territory. The patrol approaches rarely and comes across a kitty pat, sniffing around. The kitty pat knows his arrival and brilliantly says they heard about the clans and wish to join them. 
The patrol agrees and takes them back to camp. Ooh, our uh, smoothie jump. That's a weird name. That's like one of the daylight warriors, I would say. Uh, your reputation patrol clan has improved. Outsider clan. Okay, uh, who's smoothie jump? Aw, uh, look at smoothie jump. She's very, they're, she's very cute. Maybe her and uh, Hiccup Pelt will get along very well because they're both kitty pets. But they're also both from outside the clan of kitty pets, like I said. So maybe uh, the warriors would like uh, be a bit mean to them. Does she have any relationship with anyone yet? No, she does not. So I think that's that for today there. Let's see. Let's go on to the next moon and see if... Uh, Bold tail has a bad fall while taking a rock from terror and come back to the camp sore. Monkey hair's bite wounds has healed and well, they can't even tell it happened. Great job. I was worried it was going to scar because they got the infection. Relationships, yeah. Okay, you can read that if you like. I don't think there's anything too important in the relationship section that can happen. But if there is, tell me. Okay, we got a lot more herbs here. Look at that. And uh, the only one in the den is Bowl Tail. We... Betoni and horse tail this month. Uh, so, ch -ch -ch, yeah. We used up our cobweb though, which is like one of the most important things because that's the one that stops bleeding. Let's see. Is craving the taste of vole is assigned cats to the Dawn Patrol. Is sharpening their claws. Is craving the taste of frog. Is feeling unappreciated. Is guarding the camp entrance. Is feeling quite lazy. Is lashing their tail furiously. Why is she lashing her tail, do you think? Caught a huge rabbit. Is there against no eating that burned the fresh kill pile, pile, pile earlier? Is asking if they need more training. Gravel paw, I think, will take training today. Is coming about the thorns in their nest. Okay, so I think Croak Bite can go out on their own today. Leaf fall starts to hit the cold soon and will come. The burdock plants are starting to wilt. Crow by heads down and replenish the clan stock. Rains are made the soil loose and good for digging. Well, finding burdock plants is starting to become harder. At least it's easier for to root. So we have burdock. That's good for rat spites, if I remember correctly, and infection. So I think that's a very good herb to have. Uh, phew, let's see. I want to give Gravel Paw 101 training today. Who starts to suggest there might be a good chance to practice new fighting techniques for Gravel Paw? Both cats have a nice practice session, swapping their best tips and tricks with each other. Okay, who's these three cats? Good hunter, good fighter. We might bring a good fighter, because we did find that fox on the patrol before. Who is... yes, I think this is good. I don't know which patrol... Uh, you know what, let's let the random patrol type decide for us. Oh, it's a border patrol. Well, walking along the border, the patrol is renewing their scent. When the two patrols get close to the other, yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is them improving their uh, relationship. So we have, this is the good outcome. Okay, so we are not going to war with sleep clans like the other clans. Oh, I'm very tired today. Let's see. Uh, very smart. I don't know which patrol this would be good for. Patrol has a disagreement. Look, hip up top. There. Pick up. Uh, Pelt manages to skill free smooth over this disagreement. He's a very good mediator, I would say. There is actually a mediator role in this game, but I think I will wait for a cat to choose that role. I don't want to force them. Dandelion uh, encounters a porcupine bristling its quills. The patrol examines the porcupine, eventually deciding they shouldn't risk potential injury it could cause. Okay, good. I was worried one of them was going to stick their face in it or something. Looks like uh, we got some good herbs today. So I think this is a good time to leave this off. Thank you for watching. And I have you, hope you have a good day. Goodbye!